How's everybody doing? Today's video is going to be a headphone review. These are some Sony over-the-ear noise-canceling wireless headphones with the lovely memorable name WH-CH710N which I needed to keep the package just in order to tell you. So these headphones I got um, shortly after I did my last headphone review basically saying that those Skull Candy Sesh Evos were absolute trash. So I was in the market for a different pair of wireless headphones because my phone doesn't have a headphone jack anymore and I needed to take a flight. So I picked these up just using credit card rewards. I think they're like $150. So the overall construction I would say is decent. They have the sort of uh, metal spine, I guess you'd call it, going through. Metal track, I don't know, some like the structure of this going through is metal, um, or at least partially. This top piece is padded. It, I would say it's averagely comfortable for some over-the-ear headphones. And I have kind of a wide head. My head is like seven and five-eighths. And I would say for the first probably two, three hours of having these on constantly, I don't really notice it. After about two, three hours, it feels like they're kind of squeezing. So I would say the comfort is average. Uh, there's some sort of textured black plastic throughout, but the, the padding itself is good, I have to say. So on the left side of these headphones, you have a jack, a USB-C, type charging connector and the power button and on the right side you have a volume plus minus uh, probably like some type of a headset control and then you have the noise canceling slash ambient button to turn that feature on and off when i first tried the noise canceling function at home obviously it didn't seem to do very much when i used it on the plane however it made a pretty big difference you don't even really realize it until the headphones turn off and suddenly you just get blasted with all this noise coming through them. So I would say that the noise canceling feature does work very well and it doesn't really seem to affect the sound quality. And of course the sound quality is one of the biggest factors for a pair of headphones, although these are more like casual listener grade. So I'm going to have to take that into consideration. Uh, in my opinion of these, which is that they sound very well balanced, like they have good bass response, they have good mids, but it's, when it comes to the really high frequencies where you get all that definition, they're a little bit lacking, so they're sort of more commercial grade listening than something like a monitor headphone. As musicians, I think we get spoiled by listening to music through monitors and you can hear this incredible clarity that you don't even realize that your hearing has the ability to perceive until you get it directly and you're like, wow, that's a really stunning soundscape. You don't get that with this or most headphones, quite frankly, but I would say they are definitely passable. There's only a few songs where if you have a song where the mixing is not great, these headphones don't help it out at all. So if you have a song that might sound kind of muddy to begin with, it's gonna sound very muddy with these as compared to like a, an actual monitor where it would try to at least bring bring out the, uh, the clarity, whatever clarity is there. These don't really do that for you as far as listening, but they are very sufficient, I would say. They don't get very loud. I'm kind of realizing that that's probably just a feature of wireless headphones in general, which I'm not a big fan of, uh, but probably would save my hearing in the long run. However, with the noise canceling feature of this pair, when I was on the plane, for instance, the volume was not an issue because it took all the noise down so the, the music volume could still be pretty moderate and I could hear everything well enough. And then last but not least, uh, what people will be concerned about with wireless headphones is the battery life. So they advertise up to 35 hours of battery life and what I found with other headphones is that what they advertise is not actually what you're gonna get. With these, however, I would say you probably can get pretty close to that 
the advertised 35 hours, even if you're blasting music very loud. I haven't really timed it, but I can go probably, I mean, I went easily flights back and forth and uh, about another month of casual listening just here and there before I had to charge these up again. So if you're gonna take these on a trip, unless you listen to them constantly, like for hours a day, you won't have to worry about recharging them because the battery life is as good as advertised with these. So that was a big plus and one of the reasons why I do like these. Sony has always made pretty decent headphones and I'd say these are sort of in line with that. There are probably much better ones out there, but in the range of $150, these are a really good option. So there you go, that is my review of the Sony WH-CH710N. Got it right. If you like this video, don't forget to share it and subscribe, turn on notifications, and I will see you guys next time.